This is a live look now at OGO's website, which tracks crashes on major roads. So far, we don't have any major accidents that have been reported, but there will be many later tonight and tomorrow morning. Isabel Lawrence spoke with Highway Patrol today, and Isabel, they are urging people to stay off the roads. Yeah, that's right, Betsy. This evening, we're in Berea. You can see we are at the Turnpike here, actually at the Ohio Turnpike Commission's headquarters, which has a great vantage point here. And you can see roads already wet and slippery. And I know a lot of Ohioans are probably sitting at home right now thinking, I've done this winter storm thing before. I'm not worried about it. But again, it's that threat of that slippery, icy, black ice type conditions that, Betsy, you were just mentioning. So a few things you should know if you absolutely have to be out on the road tomorrow. Make sure that you are just taking it slowly. Drive calmly. Make sure you are extra aware and alert. Make sure you're leaving a lot of extra space between yourself and the car in front of you. And a sergeant I spoke to with the highway patrol today told me you do not want to make those knee jerk reactions if you find yourself in a tricky situation, especially when it's icy and slick out. So again, if you're in trouble, don't panic. Do your best to stay calm. Make sure you're keeping an extra distance between yourself and the cars in front of you. And if you find yourself in a situation where you are actually starting to slip, you know, don't slam on the brakes and turn sharply. Just simply let off the accelerator and steer the vehicle in the direction that you want to go. It's better to hit a snowbank than to, you know, hit another vehicle. Now, what if you get into a situation where you do hit that ice and unfortunately you end up off the road? Sergeant Santiago there said it is important to stay in your car. If you're far enough off the road and in a safe enough position to assess your situation, then go for it. But otherwise, again, just stay inside so that you do have that shelter. And I know we say it every storm, but it really is so important. Make sure that you have those essential items in your car so that you're prepared. Your warm clothing, your food and water, your shovels. Even Sergeant Santiago mentioned a flare if you have one in case you do get stranded and need to signal for help. So again, main message though, if you can stay inside tomorrow, stay off of the roads. And Bria, Isabel Lawrence, 3 News. All right, Isabel, we've been telling folks for a few days now this is coming, so certainly uh, they know how to prepare. All right, thank you so much for that, Isabel.